Hi, and welcome to the Chocolate Academy Online. My name is Ryan Stevenson. Today, we're gonna to do a classic chocolate tart. This tart, we're gonna have a nice sweet paste crust to it. So we're gonna make a nice baked caramel. The caramel is gonna seep and give a lovely flavor to the almond cream, but also it's a technique that not many people use. It's a caramel that when we cut the tart at the end, it's not gonna run away everywhere. It's gonna still hold its shape. And also a chocolate frangipan. So let's get started. Let's start by making the sweet paste. You will need these ingredients. 288 grams of butter, 72 grams of 100% almond powder, 192 grams of icing sugar, 120 grams of whole eggs, 487 grams of all-purpose flour, 36 grams of potato starch, 5 grams of sea salt. You will need these utensils. In a tabletop mixer equipped with a paddle attachment, mix together the butter, almond powder and icing sugar. Add the eggs and keep mixing until well incorporated. Once the eggs are well incorporated, add the flour, potato starch and salt. Potato starch is added to the dough so that it cuts the, the gluten strands and it will not shrink when you bake it. Once everything is well incorporated, place the paste onto a marble table and form a rectangle shape. Place the sweet paste between two seal plates and roll out to a thickness of three millimeters. Place on a metal tray lined with parchment paper and put into the freezer until cooled. Once cooled, remove the seal pack and using a parchment paper to turn over the sweet paste. Remove the seal pack. Cut strips of 2.5 cm wide of the sweet paste and line the tart ring making sure that both sides stick together. If, like me, the lining is a bit short, just cut some extra paste and add it to the tart ring. Using a 14 cm ring cutter, cut circles of sweet paste and place at the bottom of the tart ring. And press gently so that the sides stick together. Place in the refrigerator for 10 to 15 minutes. Bake at 160 degrees for 15 minutes. We will now make the caramel. You will need these ingredients. 320 grams of glucose. 320 grams of sugar. 320 grams of heavy cream. 137 grams of butter. 3 grams of sea salt. You will need these utensils. Warm the glucose up in a saucepan until it starts boiling. Once boiling, add the sugar, mixing with a spatula and cook until it reaches 170 degrees. Once at 170 degrees Celsius, add the cream slowly at a medium heat while constantly mixing with a spatula. Add the butter and then the salt. Mix and cook again until reaching 106 degrees Celsius. Once at 106 degrees Celsius, pour into a mixing bowl and cover with plastic film, making sure it touches the whole surface of the caramel. Leave at room temperature or place in the refrigerator. It has to be cold when used for the assembly. Once cold, remove the plastic film and place the caramel into a piping bag. Cut a small tip off the piping bag and pipe into the tarts about 6 mm high. Place into the refrigerator for 10 minutes until the caramel is firm. This caramel recipe is specifically made to be baked in the oven. We will now be making the chocolate almond cream. We will need the following ingredients. 293 grams of butter. 
293 grams of 100% almond powder, 293 grams of sugar, 29 grams of calabot cocoa powder, 293 grams of whole eggs. We will need the following utensils. Place the butter, almond powder, sugar and cocoa powder into the tabletop mixer, equipped with a paddle attachment and mix everything together on high speed. Add the eggs and mix again until well combined. Pour into a piping bag using a scraper and reserve at room temperature until needed. When needed, cut a small tip of the piping bag and pipe into the tart, straight on top of the caramel and completely cover the tart. Bake at 170 degrees for around 15 minutes. We are now going to prepare the chocolate discs. You will need these ingredients. 100 grams of Calabot 811 dark chocolate. You will need these utensils. Pour some pre-crystallized chocolate onto the guitar sheet. Place another guitar sheet on top and spread evenly in a thin layer using a tube. Turn the guitar sheet over so that both sides can cool down at the same time. Using a 4.6cm ring cutter, cut out some circles. To make sure that the circles are completely cut, place in front of a light to see the light going through the plastic. Place the chocolate discs onto a metal tray and cover with a second metal tray. Place into the refrigerator for at least one hour at 16 degrees Celsius. Once the chocolate discs are set, remove the plastic sheet, flip over and remove the other side. Using a small offset spatula, place the chocolate discs on a metal tray lined with parchment paper. Reserve in the refrigerator at 16 degrees until needed. We are now ready for the assembly. You will need these ingredients. As needed, icing sugar. You will need these utensils. Unmold the tart shell. Place the chocolate disc at the center of the tart. Sieve some icing sugar onto the tart around the chocolate disc. So there you have it, a classic old school tart. What I like about this tart is the fact that it's a baked caramel and the caramel will seep slowly into the almond cream. These flavours will combine together to give a fantastic old school tart. So please feel free to share this recipe on the Chocolate Academy Online community and also on social media if you make it.